Hello and welcome back to all my lovers, dreamers and believers, shakers, makers and risk takers. It's so good to see you. And this is another episode of The Art of Everything, the show in which we explore the art of everything so we might bring a little more art to everything. And in this episode, I want to talk about now, good enough and momentum versus later, better and legacy. But first... Today's a very exciting day. I've been putting off this day for far too long. Today's the day I pick up the painting uh, that our dear friend Alana Babenko co-created with the beautiful people from the Business Romantic event. So there was three paintings on the day. She touched one up for me. I'm gonna go pick it up. Brilliant. So the speed we create and consume content is accelerating and the desire and requirement to keep up with that is amplifying. A lot of people I speak to share of the overwhelming crush they feel to keep making stuff. That if they don't put something out every day, they'll be left behind, forgotten forever. And this isn't just for content creators, this is for executives and keynote speakers, for business owners and job seekers. It's for anyone trying to build, serve or add value to a network and position themselves as someone worth knowing within it. Which I might add is all of us. So do we attempt to keep ahead of the algorithm, make consistency the key priority, care less about the quality and just show up and ship regularly? Or do we take more time with our ideas, with how we present our work to our peers? Do we consider the listener and shape an experience for them, even if it means we won't get it done by 4 p.m.? Now this quandary is purely a product of the times, even more specifically, our contemporary relationship with time. Nowadays, we seem to have none. We seem to be endlessly trying to outrun the relentless speed of the algorithm. And the metrics don't lie. Momentum is given to those who show up and ship regularly. But the question I want to ask is, is the impact of our work directly related to the amount of time we've invested in it? Is the depth with which we can move another tied to the depth we had to dive to to make what we made? Because if that's the case, maybe being seen isn't the only metric we should seek. If it's impact we're after, maybe sitting a little longer with what we're making is the answer. Maybe sleeping on it or leaving it for a week. Sharing it with a few close friends or colleagues might give us something richer to add to it. But it might not, I'm just posing the question. Certainly some of the posts that I've seen have massive reach, take nothing more than a uh, For me personally, when I think about creating anything for online or offline, I think about a cinematic masterpiece and that it's not created in an afternoon. I think about a lifelong friendship which is rarely formed after a few drinks. I think about a meaningful brand and I wonder is it built on consistency or quality? Ideally, it's built on both. But the kicker is, quality takes a lot longer than we would like. Quality doesn't always conform to our calendar or the immediacy of the internet. But for some of us, it's worth it. And ultimately, it's your choice. And this is really the point I wanna to make today. It doesn't matter if you make stuff and share it every day or spend weeks on a piece and put it out once a year. You get to decide on your style. You get to choose how deep or how shallow, how produced or how unpolished, how consistent or how sporadic you share your work. So choose a way that works for you and choose a way that serves what you're moving to. But most of all, let me know if there's something you've made that I've just got to get my head into. I'll see you next time, team.